Okay. You ready? Let's work out the derivative. Okay. So let's do the inside first. Now that is a bit messy. That's 1 minus x squared to the power of a half. Okay. So let's give it a go, shall we? 1 minus x squared to the half half. Let's do the... So this is chain rule of chain rule. Okay. Yeah. I heard you like calculus, so put a function <laughs> in your function. Anyway. So the inside of the inside function is minus 2x. Right? That's the inside. Yes? Okay. Now I'll do the outside of that. So the half comes out the front. And then I'm going to reduce the power by 1. Right? So that's 1 minus x squared to the power of minus a half. Does that check out? Does that look okay? I've done the inside. There's the outside. Now I'll do the outside, outside, which is sine inverse. Okay? So that should be 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared. 1 minus u squared. Okay, no problems. Good, let's tie this up a little bit. It's a bit of a disaster at the moment. The 2 and the half, they cancel. So I'm going to get minus x on the top. This is going to come down the bottom. Does that look right? Yeah? And now I have this. So 1 minus 1, 0. Minus, minus x squared. Positive x squared. Okay, now we, we just did this, right? What am I going to do on the next line? What am I going to do on the next line? Okay, I need my absolute value for this, this guy, right? So minus x on absolute value. Okay, so now I get my branches, okay? Now you tell me, what are the domain restrictions on each of the branches? What's the left-hand part? It's based on what's inside the absolute value, right? So I'm going to say here, for x is less than 0, okay? What happens when x is less than 0? What does the absolute value become when x is less than 0? Minus. Yeah, minus x, right? So this is going to be minus x on minus x. So those will cancel, right? Which leaves me with 1. Okay? Now for the other side of the domain, absolute value of x just equals x without the minus sign. Right? So minus x over x equals minus 1. Okay. Now at this point, <laughs> um, some bells should be ringing, right? We've just gone through all the effort to differentiate this, and then we landed on these two, which we surely recognize, right? What's this the derivative of? This is the derivative of sine inverse. What's this the derivative of? Cos inverse. Huh. Okay, now, what does that mean? Um, what, what is this going to tell us about the graph, right? Um, now, let, let me take a step back. Okay, if I'd ask you to graph this, right, before you did the derivative, what can you tell me about this graph? Is there anything you can tell me about this graph without calculus? Anything at all? It only exists between uh, 0 and x equals 0. Okay, so there's a restriction on the domain. Namely, it's between minus 1 and 1. That's good. Do we know anything else about it? It has vertical asymptotes at the end. Does it? D does it? I think it can Which? equal... I, oh, I don't think it has any asymptotes. No, no. Does this, does this function have any kind of symmetry? It does have asymptotes. Does it have any symmetry? What kind of symmetry does it have? Think about it. Think about, think about the pieces, right? Yeah, Sine inverse, does that have symmetry? Mm. Sine yeah. inverse. Yeah. It has yeah. odd yeah. symmetry, yeah. right? Yeah. On its own, anyway. Yeah. What about this? What kind of symmetry does that have? Yeah. This is an even function, right? Hmm. And when you take an, an even function and you apply an odd function to it, what do you think will happen? Well, it should become... Do, do you get no symmetry? Do you get odd symmetry? Or do you get even symmetry? Hmm. Think. Think. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yes. What kind of symmetry do you get? Well, this is, this is not a legit sort of proof, right? But it will at least help us think through, okay? This is hard because they're functions we're not that familiar with, okay? So let's take some functions we are familiar with. 
Take an even function like, say, x squared. We know that. That's even. Okay? What's an odd function that you know a lot about? How about x cubed? x cubed. So you take an even function and you apply an odd function to it. What kind of symmetry does that have? Sorry, there's a dent. It's not my fault. It's another even function, right? Uh, you could have switched this around and you would have seen, right? But that's not multiplying, that's applying one to the other multiplying OK, that's right, that's right. It's not, that's right, it's not x squared times x cubed. It's x squared cubed, which is what I'm having here. Function of a function, OK? This is an even function. It's even. OK? Now, you should have already known that, right? Because look, look at the derivatives. Can you see? Can you see? They're, they're opposite to each other on opposite sides of the domain. Okay, question or really, thought? Probably a really weird question, but with the um, symmetries, can you like multiply them and see which, is, it, is there a rule or something? Well, see, you gotta be tricky. Here. You gotta be careful here, right? Multiplication and and I actually don't know what the word is. I should go look this up. But when you make a the difference between this and this, right? What's the difference between them? This is a function times a function. This is a function of a function, right? So there is a difference. Because that's all, and this is even. Right? OK, let me come back. Oh, I'm so running out of time. Let me try and work out what this thing is. OK, let's take a step back, right? Sine inverse of something, it's kind of like an angle, right? Sine inverse of 3 quarters, or sine inverse of 12 thirteenths, or whatever. OK? So stay with me. I want you to remember this. Um, how should I write this? If y is an angle, right? This is true, isn't it? And this is just this is just the Pythagorean identity. You know it well, okay? So I'm going to take it and I'm going to use it over here, okay? Um, for reasons that will become clear in a second, I'm going to leave that cos, but I am going to put this into where y is, okay? So I'm going to get sine squared of this plus cos squared y equals one. Okay, what can I do with this? Don't forget, this sine squared, right? What it really means is sine of that all squared. What's this thing equal to? Um, you can move cos over and root it. I will do that in a second, but I think I need to deal with this first, right? Because this is kind of a, a mess, right? Don't forget, I only exist in this domain. What's it equal to? One minus x. It's just, um, sorry, wait, did I miss something? Squared. Squared. 1 minus x squared, right? Because, remember, sine of sine inverse whatever is equal to that within this domain. Yes? Okay, so here's what I got. Let's see if I can erase and finish this, right? What's cos squared equal to? It's equal to x squared, right? So cos y equals x, right? Wrong, that's right, there's a plus minus. Now, where's the plus minus? Where's the plus minus? It's actually equal to the absolute value of x, right? Where's the plus minus? Think about this, okay? Cos y is equal to x for what domain? Think, think. It's positive, positive, it's when x is greater than zero, right? Okay, so for this, I'm getting cos inverse of x. Next is positive, okay? For the other side of the domain, when it's negative, okay? Cos y isn't equal to x, what's it equal to? Negative x. So y is equal to cos inverse of negative x, right? Now you tell me, what's the difference between these two? This matches up exactly what we were expecting, right? There's a difference, there is a difference. x is greater than zero, that's this. That checks out. That's the, sorry, this is the derivative of that. Fine, right? What does this look like? What happens when you slap a minus sign on the x? What difference does it make? <laughs> yeah, that's right. If I were to give you this, right, and I slapped a minus sign on the y, which way would it flip? It would flip this way, right? So that's why you get the frown. But if I put the minus sign on the x, it doesn't flip this way vertically, it flips this way horizontally, right? So here's my shape. 
Okay, for x is greater than 0, I'm going to get cos inverse. What's it look like over here? That. Right? What does it look like on the other side? It looks like the flipped version. It looks like that. It looks kind of like, it, it's, it's the Taj Mahal or something. Anyway, okay. So I'm done. I've run out of time. We'll have a think about integration tomorrow.